So dystonic tremor is an interesting condition rather than being a disease. Dystonic tremor uh, really manifests with patients who have a, a shake, usually in their hand, and often a task-specific shake, so when they're doing something rather than resting. And of course this is a big distinction from Parkinson's disease where most of the tremor is a rest tremor as opposed to a dystonic tremor where people are having difficulty using their hand. The cause of dystonic tremor isn't really well known but it doesn't seem to be degenerative, so cells aren't dying in the brain. It might be the fact that a little damage has been done, tiny blood vessel gets blocked off, or alternatively we see it in patients who might have a specific profession, bricklayers or musicians, where they're doing a repeated action that they don't think about repetitively. Interestingly, what causes the tremor is this dystonic phenomenon, and dystonia is something that you may not have heard of, but you will have heard of dystonic conditions, such as writer's cramp or torticollis. So torticollis is where the neck is twisted off by uh, 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 contractions of the neck muscles, uh, whereas writer's cramp, of course, as you're writing, the hand goes into a spasm. Well, look, with dystonic tremor, you have this situation, for example, if I do this with my fingers, these muscles have to pull, these muscles have to relax. And if I do that, these muscles have to pull, these muscles have to relax. But if both of them go off together, you get a bit of a tug of war. And this is what we're seeing in dystonic tremor. It doesn't usually progress, like one of the degenerative diseases of the brain. And often we can relieve the symptoms with some tablets or other simple measures.